the false prophets tended to have a, a, a positive word about the future of Israel. They thought that uh, the day of the Lord would be a positive day for the people of Israel and not a day of darkness. Uh, that's quite different from Jeremiah, who commonly, not entirely, but commonly understands that day to be a day of judgment and destruction and the experience of the wrath of God. Now, there's positive words that the true prophet speaks. So it's not just, it's not just simply a distinction between true, uh, positive words and negative words. True prophet like Jeremiah will also speak pro positive words, but those positive words are understood to come into play only on the far side of judgment that the fact that those positive words are spoken before the actual visitation of judgment gives them a standing that they don't have if they were just sort of picked up and spoken after everything had fallen apart. So positive words and negative words both on the part of the, uh, uh, the true prophet like Jeremiah and how one relates those two different kinds of words is very important in sorting out the message of the prophet.